the founding of the Negro states, or you can call it the uh, Haiti Free State. Now, one of the most remarkable events in the Black Man's history is the State Revolt of 1791 in San Domingo. For many years, this French colony in the West Indies was the biggest market for the European slave trade. Over half a million slaves captured in Africa were made to work in the plantation owned by Europeans. Then in August 1791, the slaves revolted against their masters. First, they rose against their white enslavers and defeated them. The white men cried for assistance from Europe, but the slaves did not surrender, and they became even more determined in the struggle. In the process of the struggle, they defeated Spanish invaders. One of the biggest victories was the defeat of a British force of soldiers numbering 6,000 men. Finally, in 1808, a French expedition of similar size was taught a bitter lesson by the slaves. The slaves had won in their trilogy struggle for freedom. As a result, the Negro state of Haiti was founded and it has grown from the census time to this day. How could the slaves manage such a great achievement? It was all due to the leadership role of one of great men. His name was Charleston Clovesia, one of the greatest men of his time. He was the oldest of his father's eight children. His father was son of an African chief in Africa. He had been captured in a tribal war, sold as a slave, and made the journey in a slave ship. In the West Indies, he was bought by a European plantation owner. When Tosin Slovakia was born, no one could imagine that this was a boy who was destined to become the heroic leader of the San Domingo Revolt. Who could tell that he was the savior? who was to lead the slaves into freedom and save them from suffering and misery. But even his father could forgive, for when he was a boy, the thing was so weak and sickly that his parents were not sure he would live. He was even nicknamed Little Sick, but who can change God's plan? While still a child, the thing developed a desire for knowledge and strong body. He strengthened himself by doing vigorous exercises. As a result, he grew from strength to strength. At the age of 12, he had surpassed all the boys of his age on the plantation in athletic activities. He could swim across the nearest river. He could jump on a horse at a full speed. So then he went on to become the finest rider in San Domingo and earn himself the title of Centura of the Savannas. So then he was a very small, ugly, and interesting man but very friendly and careful. His learning, success in life and character had him respect among all the Negroes who knew him. They also recognized his superiority. This then was the man who, at the old age of 45, joined the slave revolt in San Domingo. It is the only successful revolt in history. His greatness lies in the fact that slaves so boldly and courageously were able to defeat the most powerful European nations of the day. So then Novatia was a guiding son and hero who helped to begin a Negro state which exists to this day. George II, so then Novatia.